Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UFA projects. And in this video, we'll learn how to integrate Outlook or any email client with SAP UFI. So it means the Outlook or the email client has to be installed on your laptop. So you can download Outlook or any other email client and install it uh, over your Mac or Windows. And then apart from that, you will need an IDE. It can be SAP Web ID or it can be SAP Business Application Studio, that is BAS, where you will be writing the code. And in this video, we'll be writing the code in Web ID. And then you need to have basic knowledge of SAP UI file. So now we'll jump to an article. So this article link will be shared within the description of the video. In this article, we have mentioned the theoretical part of the need of the integration and also shared the process and the code. So you can find the code here. So we'll jump to web ID where we have written the code. So the code is something where uh, a simple table is there and it has being binded with a local model. That is not an important part. The only important part is this button where we are pressing and getting help. And on click of help, we are calling this function where we are also getting some data from the screen. So that data can be taken only in case of selection. So you select something on the screen and we are fetching the data. In case nothing is selected, we are showing an error that uh, you need to select something. If something is selected, then you need to add this piece of code where you are passing the very first element as email ID where you want to send the email. The second part is the part where you write the subject of your email. And the third part is where you write the content of the email. Also, you will see uh, some standard code we have written to fetch the user info. So suppose you are working for SAP in form of S user ID, C user ID, D user ID, I user ID. In those use cases, you can fetch the ID directly from the U shell. So if your application is deployed, you will get the ID and also the name. So even those things can be like uh, caught from the UI5 application and automatically be shown within the email client. So we'll show you right now. So we'll run this in a Fury environment. In case I have not selected anything on click of help, as of now, I'm getting this error that you need to highlight the field and value which you want to report issue for. And we'll select these fields, click on help and email client will open up. You see to whom the email is required to be sent is already added. The content is already added and the content is also showing this uh, name of the uh, something is messed up. You see the name of the client is coming in address and the address is coming in the uh, second part. So this thing is actually matched up here. So we'll just switch field names and it will be fixed. Refresh, close the email client. Do the selection once again, click on help. It is fixed. So for the customer John, we are sending this address and these data will be visible only in case the application is deployed in an environment. So in this way, you can automatically create the entire email from a click of a button from SAP UI5. So this uh, particular element that we're using here, the control is called SAP URL helper. And within that, we have something called trigger email. There is something from JavaScript and also that you can use. So if you scroll down in this article, you can see you can use something called mail to URL scheme where you create a subject like this. You create a body like this and you plan for the email ID and just call this thing mail to email to will be added here, the subject and the body. And then you call this mail via windows.location.hrf. 
so it opens up the same thing that is being opened by the SAP URL helper. So these two different ways are there. So you can use either of them. I believe this video is very helpful. In case you are looking for Outlook integration in form of API, you know, in form of way where you actually trigger the email itself, not open up the client. So that will video will be created very soon. And that particular process is called graph API integration. So we'll discuss that particular aspect in that video. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much.